interesting. And, right, we'll talk about this after. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about this. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Playtime. Uh, this is episode five, and we have Emily Blackwell. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The best friend, the girl that everyone wants to see on our Playtime. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, boys. Yeah. I honestly, I feel like this mic I could <laughs> break out into song yeah funny how do yeah. you know I was going to say that because you know what you're... we've actually already filmed this <laughs> take two take two this is take two we had a technical problem gang mm. so um, yeah we're 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 back on air which we're is back fine. on air which I'm kind of loving but also it's kind of uh, easy we're used to this you know Chelsea take a few reshoots retakes yeah, yeah. isn't that supposed to be top secret oh, well yeah. I'll bleep Ooh. it out then <laughs> 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 um, um, how are you feeling? How are you in general? Christmas is feeling good, wintry, back from my Bali. My favorite time of year. Can't yeah. believe I've got back from Bali. I've lost my tan in 0.0 seconds. I'm literally just, I may mm. as well not have gone. I really want to come back. You know, everyone goes, oh my God, you're so tanned. That happened for a day and then it went. <laughs> so that's great yeah um yeah. but got my christmas tree up done most of my wrapping honestly i'm an organized queen yeah you are very scarily organized but living with you your top things are ocd-ness 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 mm. not sure that's a thing but... is, is it not a word okay okay I'll, I'll, I'll make it a word your your ocd you're very structured you're planned and you love you love <laughs> you're very planned and you love you a pad thai. A pad thai. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't had a pad thai in so long. Can you, um, make, can you make pad thai um, or do you just order it? No, wait, order wait, wait, what's that? Was that? You haven't had pad thai in like, so long. You've just come from Bali. Oh, I didn't have as many pad yeah, thais as I wanted. Pad thai is not Bali, mate. No, it's, but there was a lot of. No, 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 no. It's called a. Oh, I know what it's called. Nasi Guran. Nasi Guran. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck me. I love. To be those. honest, the reason why I've not had one for ages is because because when we went in Bali, we had so many like noodles, rice, like. Mm. I just when I got back, all I wanted was like veg and clean yeah. fish. That, you, hey, you that's... know what though? Those um, you know how they make those nasi gurang on the street? Yeah, you eat those ones. No, no. Babe. okay, yeah. Do you want Because I was gonna say when I went, uh, it was back at uni. We were on like probably a bit of a budget, but anyway, we used to eat at those um, like street ones. Yeah, and it was like. Did you get barley belly from that? No, I didn't actually. Oh, but you forgot. Did you? Inside did you shit yourself while you were there? Then? Uh, we. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Severe. Oh, uh, we. The main topic of the conversation the whole trip was um, mm. our bowel movements. It was every single whether morning. Whether they had stopped right, or whether they were street. non-stop. Honestly, it was yeah. every single morning we'd come down for breakfast and we're like, good Has poo? it got you yet? Have you, good poo? Is it, yeah. is it like lava or I is it strong? I've already got on well there, actually. I'm, I'm yeah. Are you strong I sometimes poos? have some bowel issues, but bowel, yeah. anyway. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Do you want to talk this about is, this? This is a great podcast to start on. <laughs> uh, no, like Bali was insane. And one thing I will agree with you is Ooh. the... Sorry. Charlie, nice. it's those chubby fingers feel <laughs> By the way, has anyone seen Charlie's fingers on this podcast? We give him a give him a whirl. Give him a whirl. A so twirl, a whirl? We, I think we went through this on another podcast, maybe you didn't listen to it, but mm. um yeah, I've just got big big sausage palms, fingers. sausage fingers. Yeah. Sausage finger, you, you, girthy girthy. You uh girthy what? Coin, <laughs> girthy girthy fingers. Coin the name Porky Whites. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you is that what you call them? Porky Whites? <laughs> that is Oh my god! How do you remember that? I did. <laughs> they are porky white. Yeah. Yeah. They are. But yeah. But you're you're a very big guy. We spoke about this already on, uh, yes. on playtime. <laughs> you're just you're just a big dude. Yeah. So big that the he BFG, breaks. The BFG, big friendly giant. He he breaks. Uh, yeah, he's friendly actually. But you break everything. Everything you're. I don't. You do. What, what happens to that lamp? Just get the fuck over. <laughs> You owe me a lot of money after that. Um, um, no, but I was going to say the one thing that annoyed me about Bali, like the food's amazing, it's great there, but they don't do any veg. You can't, you don't really eat vegetables there. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's also why your shits are bad. You know, the fiber is not there. No, it's just, the, it's just <laughs> different out there. I think it's all the, the bacteria that are, that we're not used to. Mm, yeah. Um, I think it's when they mix like water into food, isn't it? That's when yeah. they eat yeah. your stomach. Don't have salad. Because like you can't drink tap water and they might have like ice. No, that's what it is. The ice. When you go out at night and then you have a few drinks, then you end up having just like ice from yeah. tap water and then mm, no. wake up in the morning. You're you know like, what though? We were all right. We quite enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. A bit of quite a light, bit of a... Bit of a bowel I'm cleanse. not even... I'm not going to talk about this right now. This is horrendous. <laughs> a bit of a bowel cleanse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, what what they call it? Huh? They, uh, people actually go and have that treatment, don't they? It's called like an enema. Yeah, 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 it's called yeah, yeah. a yeah, um, yeah. chloric so irrigation. You, you, Oh, is that Clonic, not an enema? Clark? I thought it was an enema. It's it's it an is. enema. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's basically where they shove up water up your ass and flush it out like a balloon. Flush it out like a balloon. Yeah. See, I can't. How? 
honestly, comment below. Is there comments on this? Yeah, there's comments. Yeah. How is that good for you? You're taking on all your bacteria. Yeah, I mean... No, it's good to basically... There's two ways you can do it. You can do an oil cleanse or fl- or an almond. <laughs> Someone's had about five of these before in their life. <laughs> no, basically... Lo- Seems to know a lot about <laughs> yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, Someone's been Googling. <laughs> no, so uh, basically... Oh, that- go on. <laughs> basically, if you drink like... I think it's three litres of olive oil to... Um, get rid of all of like the shit basically in your sounds system. Sounds terrible. Sounds like bollocks to me. Well, you know what? No, it isn't. Try it. Sound, Don't so, try it at sound, home, kids. Sounds like someone's really stitched up. Miles no wonder there's so bottles. many empty bottles yeah. of olive oil over there. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, over there. I didn't spot that. I was yeah. like, cool, cool. I'm he, on a bit of a cleanse at the moment, guys. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how was Bali for you, like in general? Yeah, it was good. Do you know what? Lovely place. Yeah. Stunning place. Couldn't live there. I do feel like it's one of those places where people, it's not real life. Yeah. You know, it's Escape, escapism. It's escapism. And mm. pe- a lot of people you like that I met that were there were like escaping from something or trying to figure out their like life and their little journey, mm. which, you know, I'd probably do the same. But then I, I do feel like, oh, you have to get back to reality, which is... A hundred percent. Real world yeah, here, yeah. W- working and you know normal routine, but it's lovely. I I couldn't live there, no, but I could go there for like a good few months. I was gonna say I could definitely like without the filming. Filming was stressful. Oh, yeah, that was a tough what, old so, cookie. So what went on? What's the drama? Well, obviously, going away with your ex boyfriend isn't like. Mm. The best. The best. I went in with all good intentions. Like I didn't want it to be awkward for anyone. I was very like wanted to just be friends with Harvey. I really, really did. Yeah. And then... Did you, did you before going out there, did you... Because obviously you're, new, you're in a new relationship, you've moved on, and obviously your, your boyfriend, Jordan, legend, uh, understands your job and what you have to do. You have to talk about your life on camera. Did he... Did you guys have a conversation before going out there being like, look, my ex is going to be there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you know what? The thing with Jordan, he's so understanding. Like, mm. he just gets it. And I think where we do really trust each other and he's obviously not threatened one bit i think he's quite sure of himself we're not sure of himself but like he just i don't know he was just confident you know there wasn't any reason for him to be like worried or nervous it's obviously annoying yeah but he trusts me and he he get he gets it he was very understanding he was like look i totally understand like i hope you he was he was like god i hope you're all right like it's not gonna be nice for you being around him but you know i went with the intention of being very nice and friendly with Harvey and then you guys will watch it. It doesn't quite end that way, um, which is sad, but yeah. you know what? Well, I guess an ex is an ex for a reason, right? I think it's that classic saying, but it's true. Like I look, I even look at, you know, people always talk to me, talk to me about Maver, like, oh, maybe there's a, you, do you see her, do you talk to her? It's like, look, unfortunately we are on a show where we're you know a big group of friends we have to hang out together we film about it and you're gonna be in uncomfortable situations and you've got to learn to deal with it i also think that it's not a normal situation like it isn't normal that you have to go away for five weeks and your ex-boyfriend's lurking about it's not normal that no. he's in the same group like and it, he's like just there like it isn't it isn't a normal scenario and i wouldn't mind hanging out with Harvey there is no like I actually don't mind you know if he's there and it doesn't bother me too much however I do feel like I just wanted a bit of respect from his side and for a bit for him to tell me a few truths and for it to come out of his mouth I won't go into too much detail because you'll watch it and you'll find out and I didn't really feel like I got it and it was sad and it's it is what it is you know it was it was hard because even like and even for us like you know we're really good friends you know, Harvey's been one of your closest friends for years now. And when I got when I went out there, obviously the new series is already out right now before Bali. And you can see, you know, people are watching right now that there's a bit of conflict between Harvey and I. And when I went to Bali, I was like, okay, look, well, I've got two options. I can either ignore the guy, you know, have this weird animosity, or I can get along with him and kind of hopefully get to a point where we're friendly. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean we have to be best mates, but definitely like we can be in the same room and have a good laugh with everyone else. And also, it's mainly for the sake of the group. Of course, 100%. Like, you know, you want to put things because it's just... Well, he isn't an argumentative person normally, Harvey, is not he? he? He's not really confrontational. Uh, you say this, but this series, yeah. he was... I, I, I was definitely, shocked, to be fair. I, I, You know what? I saw Harvey in t- two different ways, right? I saw Harvey a lot more vulnerable this series. Like, the first time, you know, I got to see him in that way. And I actually appreciated it because it showed a, 
you know, an emotional side to him. And obviously he wasn't around his, you know, chihuahuas, you know, whispering things into his ears. Oh, no, they were still very much probably well, blowing up his they, phone. They were. Him sentences to say. Yeah, they were at a certain point. But before that, got, it got to the messy, you know, point that you guys will see. Um, it was like, okay, cool. I, I kind of want to just get to know him a bit yeah. more on a level. Because I was like, I've never seen you like this. And, I, I'm, and no one's around. No one's telling us not to be friends. Let's try to be friends. And unfortunately, it got to the stage. But unfortunately, new rumors kind of, you know, surfaced. Um, and it kind of sucked for you because you you were in a position where of like, do I bring this up again? Or do I just let it go? But I, I was really, really... I didn't know what to do. I even called Jordan. I was like, Jordan, I don't know what to do. You know, mm. I've heard this. I've heard that. If I'm going to be friends with a guy, I can't, I'm not a fake person. I can't be pretend to be fine with him when I'm not. And you know, it is, he was saying, Harvey was like, why are you bringing things up 10 months after when you've moved on? And I, and I'm like, yeah, there you go, Harvey, 10 months. We're not talking 10 years. We're not talking five mm. years, 10 months, less than a year. And I, you know, I just wanted a bit of respect. I just wanted to hear it from his mouth and that was it yeah. and I would have respected him for that and we could have moved on and I would have been his friend I don't so feel I got that on that like how true actually are these rumours and also I what, think mm, I don't know I I never really got too much of an answer I, to be honest I think also like from Harvey's perspective obviously you're hurt from it and you're entitled to say your bit but like I guess from his perspective if he doesn't want it to be repeatedly brought up and I get um, that but... especially on like TV and He's obviously like realized he's fucked up, and he just wants to move past it. And if I it's know. constantly brought up again, like it's it's not good for anyone to try and digest it in that way. So, I I think yeah. No, I, I totally get where you're coming from, but what you have to understand is if Harvey was honest about every single detail about everything he'd ever done during our relationship when we were together, or when I or just after we broken up it would have been squished then but unfortunately mm. he wasn't so things keep coming up because he hasn't told me yeah and you know so obviously i'm going to ask him about it because i have every right to mm. and so i kind of blame him for that but i get when you're moving on from something and it's something that is you're really not that part of your life you really didn't enjoy you don't like talking about it and i get yeah. it and neither do i i don't want to talk about it all the time but oh, when no. you're on a tv well, show he he was he was a uh, there was a moment where you know that it, w it won't we kind of spoke about it on camera, but there was a moment where him and I went out. Um, it was literally just a few of us. Um, and he was really upset. And it was the first time I actually seen him in that way. And it was when I got to talk to him in a, on a level. And I was like, man, I didn't realize that how it, how much this was affecting you. And I really respect it. And also, I kind of said to him, I, was like, I really respect the fact you can do this in front of me. Because, I, you know, I'm not your best friend. We've had our problems. But I really, I, I thank you. Because it just shows me that... You have got a heart. You are not this just emotionless person. Mate, I don't think he's... Like, that's a bit unfair to say, like, he's just no heart. I, no, I that's know. what no, he no, said. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, wh But, what? like, as in, that, that's not how he's come across, is it? Like, I, I don't think that's, like... No, but I'm saying... I'm but saying, as in, like... I'm not saying him as a person. I'm saying with the th what's happened with uh, Emily. With the things the, he's yeah. done to me, you would think you haven't got a heart or an emotion to do that to Well, I, th I think with Harvey, he's al he's always, he's he's actually a fucking, like, such a nice guy, but he's just like, I think he just fucked he's up He's like a it. little puppy. He's a lost yeah. puppy. He just, he just got, like, he fucked up and he obviously massively regrets it, but he never means badly on anyone. Oh, no, so of I, course. I, I don't think it's like fair to say like an emotion like emotionless like no but I tell you no, no, what no, no, he has by the way, by the way not... I'm not I'm not attacking him by the way he's I feel got, like you um... think I'm attacking him I literally said a really positive thing I said I'm you're, you've got to understand from my perspective he's been very emotionless with me about Emily Emily's my yeah, best friend yeah I guess, I guess... All, I, all I'm saying is that I really respect right, it right you mean more in the capacity of speaking to you yeah I, I guess that's, that's kind of I guess from his side, like it's weird talking about this as well because we don't usually we never this. talk. Yeah, we, we, never. we basically never talk about this stuff because we just keep it separate. Yeah. But I guess from his side, he's probably like that with you because you're always right, sort of like your M's close yeah, friend, course, yeah. and he probably feels like you don't have maybe his good yeah, intentions. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's when, why when I do, I actually don't think you ever do have bad in, like you uh, you always speak highly of Harvey and stuff. Yeah, and he might sometimes misunderstand that and think you know, have his yeah. back up against the wall or yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
but, yeah. but that's, that's why I'm saying uh, that that comment I just made about him, me and him, we went on night out and I saw that side of him. That's why I said that to him. I said, it's the first time I've seen you like this towards me. And I get why you wouldn't in the past because of Emily. Yeah. But what I would say, like, it was an unfortunate situation in Bali. I think we were all hoping that it would be a happy family. Look, at the end of the day, we're on a show. Uh, it's all about drama and relationships. So something was bound to happen. Um, but look, it, it, it's it's now Christmas. We're hoping that, you know, it's kind of you guys have need your space definitely for sure i don't think there's any there there is no need for me to Mm. you know engage with harvey anymore i don't need to you know that was the final straw for me i wanted a bit of i wanted some answers he didn't understand it and that's fine yeah and we'll leave it at that really that's it it, it, like it's now moved past it sort of thing not not bring up old things or i'm done now like i don't need to bring anything up he isn't going to tell me he's going to the grave with some of the things he's done <laughs> bless yeah. his heart he really is and that's just you either hold your hand and he said hold it ha- held his hand up to something to some things he re- he has and i respect that did he do it in but ugh, it's so hard for me because it's like every time i try i try to defend his corner i'm like but hang on he should have told me that when we first broke up like he just I don't know. It's 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 a really tricky. One. I yeah. Can, uh, anyway. I mean, whether. I mean, I I don't know the full wins and outs of what went down out there, but yeah, I don't know. It's I I think it's definitely something. Ever, it's completely up to you how I you deal with people, it. I think some people it will be. Re- it's like very much like I think it's in both your interest to move past it. I guess. Uh, but it's not for me to say that though. I guess is it? Um, it's kind of. Uh, listen, it's it's, it's moved- hard of the show. I think that's another thing. Like I think people forget. Like we're when things are brought up we're we're supposed to be talking about these things and when we're on mm. camera it's like okay well we've heard this you know producer will be like okay these these are the topics that other people are talking about yeah and it was brought to her attention in a, in a scene and we're like oh do we talk about it do we yeah, not yeah it's difficult you know, it's, it's difficult, difficult. It's I, I guess so it's difficult. i guess it's difficult uh because he's like obviously fucking really really like regretting doing it and yeah. he fucked up and I guess he just wants to move past. Yeah. But yeah. I guess, obviously, from your angle, it's completely, you can say your bit because it happened to you and you're the one, you're kind of the one who's hurting the most, right? Or not yeah. now, but like from the situation immediately. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, it's like one of those things where you, ugh, it's a frustrating one, but also remember, we're not in a normal scenario. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have brought anything up or it wouldn't have been brought up if we weren't in Bali all together on a bloody trip. Yeah. Like, you know, if we were back in London and yeah. I heard things, I don't have to see him. Yeah. So I crack on with my life and my day and it doesn't even enter my brain. But when you're sitting in front of him when I've got to have conversations with him, when I've got to be nice to the guy, mm. well, I don't have to be, but I choose to be. And that's when you think, hang on, all right, well, I'm going to ask you the questions then because I've heard them. Yeah. So why don't you be honest with me for once and I'll have a bit of respect for you and we can continue in a friendship but I don't feel I got respect. So anyway, you'll figure it out. You'll find, you'll, well, you'll yeah, work you, it out when you watch it. But yeah. the body series frustrating, let's just say that. We're like, do I want to sit here and bad mouth him? No, I think he is deep down actually a really nice guy. And I think he's just got a bit of growing up to do. And that is it. You oh, know, he's learned yeah. his lesson. He's he's done his thing. And let's hope he just learns from it all. That's all it is. Mm. No, I agree. I think he, I've moved on. Yeah. Thank God that actually i know it sounds awful but thank god he did do this to me because i'm now with someone who is so much better suited to me yeah. than he is or was no no and i think also i mean to uh, not to drag this out anymore i think he very much is in the point of his life where he does need to be single he just needs Absolutely. to enjoy and he knows he's that. got his you know his prime time he's you know he's working uh, you know when we were in bali he was working endlessly on that and i can see so i think there's um you know you just i think you're definitely in two different stages of your life even when you were together um and it was unfortunate the way it ended but look it's you've moved on he's moving on it's it's kind of like give it a bit of time yeah. and you know remember it's happened less than a year ago yeah. and i think when you get put in front of someone, you know, the emotions and the, there is a bit of anger. I do, I do get a bit fucking angry sometimes because mm, yeah. I think you, how dare you? And I think it just kind of all came out, but now I feel better for it. So it's Yeah, fine. I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think basically the long and the short of it is it could have been handled better if yeah. it were just out in the open yeah. from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, but just anyway. a, I just deserved a bit more respect, but it is what it is. Um, And it's Christmas, so... Yeah. Let's not dwell on that. Yeah. How are you feeling about Christmas? How are you feeling? Uh, are you going to get scumbag sallied around here? Ma, I just <laughs> love Christmas. Honestly, I love red wine. Um, mulled first, wine. Mulled wine. Yeah. What, did you, what, did you say? what did you say? 
Meld one. Red mold. wine. Oh, if we said meld wine, I was like, you know what what I know what mold one is. Hot yeah. wine. First Christmas with Jordan. <laughs> I, I panicked a little bit. That was like, wait, mold wine? <laughs> so I've got him some nice presents. What did you get him? I'm not going to tell you on this. Oh, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What did you, uh, what did you get your dad for Christmas, Mars? Oh, don't do this. <laughs> God. Okay, so um, I got a really interesting message from my sister two days ago. I'm going to out my whole family right now. But oh my God. Fuck it. Um, I got a message from my sister. We were obviously, we're like talking about Christmas shopping before we go see my family in uh, France. And my sister goes, just to let you know, um, you know, when you call dad about Christmas, he wants something. And I'm not sure. By the way, you've forgotten to add, he wants something that he has seen you promote on your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, so... I call my dad and I say, hey, dad. Jacques. You know, Jacques, how's Christmas? Bonjour. All good. And uh, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, What's, what do you want for Christmas? Because obviously, like, we're going to Christmas shopping soon. And he goes, yeah, there's one thing that you did on your Instagram that I really want. And I was like, in, in my head, I was like, what have I promoted recently? Thank you, Lelo. But um, my dad wants a cock ring. I can't. <laughs> This is honestly, I absolutely, you're not going to give him the one you've used, are no, you? No, obviously not. So I'm not going to give him the one I used, but he, um, my mum was giggling in the background. Oh, why not? Actually, give it a bit of a wash, shove it in a box. No! Oh, oh, oh. Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> no, he wants a cock ring and he wants the one that I promoted um, and I'm going to get, obviously I'm going to get a new one. And uh, yeah. By the I'm, way, I looked up those Lalo things yeah mm. they aren't cheap well, I'm, no. I'm thinking maybe i start a business but they don't cost much to make how much the markup it? must be huge well how much is it for one of those cock rings? over 100 pounds no yeah for the Lalo ring they're like high-end oh, they're, 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 like they're, they're really high-end like big, well, big I've, vibration I've tried it. your right. mum is going to be vibrating all okay over no the house. no I don't want to... she is going to yeah. have the best christmas and new year's she's yeah. ever had in her life <laughs> christmas come early Do you know what oh you had to say it. Um, i i love I, the fact that your mum's your mum and dad are still oh my god there there is thir- over 30 years now that they've been together and it's a weird thing because i'm like it's so fucked up that i'm gonna give this to my parents but at the same time i'm like you know what I know some families who just don't even they sleep, t- yeah, they sleep they in different even, beds. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? My family have a healthy relationship. And um, yeah, go, get on you, dad. Yeah. I guess. Let us know how it goes. But I, I did say, no. Let us know in the comments how I, it goes. I'm, I'm, also, <laughs> <laughs> I'm also, I did tell my dad, I was like, look, dad, I am going to get you this. However, I am going to give it to you on the last day that yeah, I'm but, there. But I'm not going to give it to you whilst it's I'm in the like house. your dad's going to be like in the living room. Just well, uh, no, wearing but, cock ring. No, but I just, no, the you thing know, is, no, but I obviously... Do you mind giving me a minute? <laughs> <laughs> just so, trying it out. Turkey's Test run. Need, turkey's nearly ready. So just yeah. five more minutes. Do you want to go check on that? I'm just going to see your mother. Um, that's, that's a bit... Oh, God. Okay, you look. Merry Christmas, mum and dad. You, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you getting your parents? Um, Do you need a cock that. ring? No, thank you. Um, they're not together either. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair. That would be a bit weird. Um, can you imagine? Hi, mum. Dad gave this to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh try God. this out it's yeah. really good um i've got high reviews i'm not lying i've tried myself it's very good is it yeah very right. very good boost, boost it a bit more boost, boost a bit more lalo go check it out yeah yeah let's hope in a few weeks they sponsor like, this we are trying to get this sponsored by lalo yeah. so yeah, not bad They're not bad yeah. at all um so how much are you enjoying christmas this is your you love christmas you just love these sort of you things love christmas. oh god i love it you love a bit of honestly Chris. i'm basically Chris, <laughs> i'm basically mrs claus mrs claus yeah love no that. love it it's yeah oh well, also it's like your what were we talking about before this we we're talking about christmas we're talking about Co- uh, we're actually talking about cock rings his dad yeah yeah thanks oh, right. i don't want to go back there uh, um, it's your first christmas with jordan first christmas with jordan which is nice he's actually quite i just hope he's not one of those guys who leaves buying my present to the last minute what what um no, what, are you, what, what are you doing for christmas are you with your fam or are you with jordan as well um i'm with my fa- luckily we're both living with uh, both our families live really close by to each other so i think we'll do a bit of both you know i'll spend christmas oh, what, with your my families are going to be together no 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 no, <gasps> no. Well, I was gonna whoa say, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, relax. Yeah, it's not even year, relax yourself before you um, wreck yourself <laughs> no it will basically be i'll be with my family christmas day he'll be with his but i'm sure i'll see him like christmas eve and stuff you nice know? Nice. How about you? What are you doing for Christmas? Well, um, <laughs> I'm actually in Cornwall this Christmas. Oh, oh that lovely. would be so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the fam. Um, Eating not, pasties? Nah, not pasties. I don't actually like pasties. They're a bit like, oof. Oh, that's ooh. so English. Stodgy. That's so yeah. English. Pasties? Yeah. Nah. A bit. It's Cornish pasties, you know? Yeah, yeah they are nah. so... They, do you know why? I'll give you a fun fact. Do you know why they make like the outside like um like a bit thicker? Uh, why? To put it together? No. 
<laughs> so back in the day, so you know the out. God, this is a this watch is out, a, people. You're going to get a fact from Emily. A, I might, it might be wrong. Mind it might be wrong. But basically, the out sugar of a pasty is like thick, like mm. it's got like it's like the twisted bit. Yeah. They did it because when people mined back in the day with the miners, their hands were really dirty. So to hold on to the pasty, they'd eat around it, and then they wouldn't have to eat that bit. No way. Yeah. Really? Good fun fact. Yeah. Want any more? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm not, good I'm not sure it's fun. It's a fact, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not that yeah. interesting. But anyway. It, here's a boring fact for you guys. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> you should have signed up for that, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was terrible. Probably cut that out. No. It's all right. It's all right. So. Um, wait, any any girls? And you're gonna spend time with a? Do you have a do you have a Cornwall? Girlfriend? Yeah, Charlie. What's been going on with your with your love life? Ah, uh, well. Um, Are you loving single life? <clears throat> yeah, I'm enjoying single life. Uh, I feel like we've spoken about this already, but yeah, just enjoying the single life. I'm not really seeing anyone at the moment. Um, just you know, playing the field. Playing the field. That's it. That's it. Uh, completing well, Hinge. And <laughs> complete. No, no, I'm not on Hinge. Um, just Tinder. Uh, no, I'm not on Tinder either. But um, real. Uh, yeah, I'm on there, but <laughs> DM. You're a DM slider, aren't you? A bit, yeah. I think I what, also feel like. Um... What about you? Wait, Miles. Because wait a second. Before we go any further, basically, Miles went on a date last night, and oh, God. he briefly filled me in. But he's he's potentially thinking that he could be converted and like, not, converted. Be, not be a, not be a single single man anymore. Right? Um, Believe it when I see it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, what, he what, said. That's what <laughs> I said. That's what I said. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, oh my God, I'm literally out myself. Um, yeah, I went on a date yesterday night uh, with someone that I've dated before. Wait, where, where'd you go? I went to what the cinema, Every Man Cinema. Okay. Oh, perfect. So you can't speak for like what two hours. See? We did actually. We watched uh, the new uh, Harvey Weinstein um, sh- movie. Is that about a pervert? Well, it's about, well, yeah, it's about him uh, mistreating uh, misconduct and. Romantic. Uh, was it any good? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically I did, it was the only film who wasn't booked out so I was like let's go there she was like yeah, yeah sweet I wonder why it's about yeah. some horrible bloke we went like, there we went there but also oh, I didn't know what the film was I just saw the name it was like I can't remember the name now but I was, I was like oh yeah we booked that it's at like 4.45 and we got there no one's in the cinema and then about five people entered they were all over the age of 60 and I remember looking and going what the fuck are we about to watch it was actually a good film. Watch it, the Harvey Weinstein film. It's a bit fucked up, but it's really, really good. Um, but anyway, we went there and every man. Did, did you get one of those? Uh, yeah, double chairs. Yeah, yeah. So we got a sofa. Well, so you just like sat next to each other. We sat next to each other. Yeah. We had some cocktails, which was really nice. Um, we then went to Bluebird. Uh, had a few more drinks there. Yeah. We hadn't had any dinner, so we were very um, drunk. Tactile. I was yeah, ta- yeah, a little bit. Well, we may have kissed at the Bluebird. Oh, okay. Um, Public ooh. kissing. Ooh. Well, it was like we were like kind of hidden, so I could do it. But yeah, look, I mean, look, it's um, it's it's been a while since we've met. This, Miles this. is in love because he literally just told me earlier before this started recording <laughs> that he is going to unfollow every bird on his Instagram and stop liking all their pictures. I was like, okay, I think you might have found the one then. Yeah, he's, yeah. Oh my god, god you just said that. that. He's like, I am being brutal here. So, like, <laughs> man, I don't think they'll realise he haven't followed you. Yeah. <laughs> To be yeah, fair, wow. you could do with a good old clear gonna out. She's going to take that badly. Yeah, like, oh, God, she'd be so sad. <laughs> no, um, it was like, I don't know. I've I've just, I think also with the recent backlash I've been getting online and just me as well, like I've got back to got back to London from Bali and thinking I kind of just want to chill a little bit. I feel like you know me so well. You know me very, very well. And yes, I like to date. I like to go out. I like, you know, I meet girls all the time, but I was very much now... I'm in a headspace of like I need us not not that I want to settle down. Oh my more. god! Finally, the penny's bloody dropped. I, told, I literally could have said that to you three months ago, but <laughs> yeah. I did say it to you three months ago. But, I wasn't, but now that you're realising, but you know, I wasn't ready as well. I was just like, oh, oh I'm doing oh. this, I'm doing that, and there was a situation with you know uh, Ella that everyone knows about Ella, Ella. Ding Dong, and it was I think after that it kind of made me realise okay, like what the fuck am I doing? Like, yeah. what, what I need to, like, I need to, like, be a bit more serious now. Um, I want to, I've had my fun. I really have. I can't say, like, oh, I haven't had fun. I've had fun. I've done most things that a lot of men probably, most... too probably much wouldn't. Fun. Too much fun. Um, I've been very playful, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. And, I, look, anyway, the date went really well. And we'll see what happens. Okay, well, keep us updated, please. I will. 100%. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll see, won't we? Yeah, the, I love that well, we spoke of this off camera, right? And both of you said the same thing. You were up there and you were like, at Mars, just one more thing. I'll believe it when I see it because right now <laughs> I, I know I can't you. wait till you... And I've always said this, Mars. I, I will know exactly when... Yeah. You've at, when there's the one and mm. the, the, the game changer. I will know in a second. Mm. 
and I just feel like I have so far you've not found that no yeah I mean it's just a lot of temptation isn't it yeah no um, I, no you know what like and we were talking about this before like it you know I'm on a show where you're constantly getting a lot of attention and you know how it feels now as well like you get a lot of attention online it's just and- too easy isn't it for you <laughs> no i don't want to say it like that because it sounds really fucking disgusting but like in the sense like <laughs> it's 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 a uh, no but it's, it's, listen, i just get a lot of attention you, you it, like, mm. <laughs> no but it's no, not that no, it's just no, that no, you get a lot of attention and you i i have been for a while shagging yeah <laughs> yeah and um, i'm not gonna lie this girl um, I really like her, so okay, I. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Just moving on to the whole Ella Ding. Yes. Thing. So we briefly touched on that just then. Mm. So obviously, obviously the episodes have just come out. So yeah. yeah. To I guess why don't you quickly summarize what happened on MIC and then what actually happened from your your side of things? So um, yeah. So it, this is also why I'm really glad that you're here because you're someone. You're what I love about our friendship is that regardless of the friendship if you see that I'm in the wrong or anything that's not good, you'll tell me and we'll have our honest conversations about it. And obviously people have seen what's been going on with MIC and we've had a confrontation, we've made up, we're all good. Um, but at the same time, I was- No, we're not. I hate you. No. <laughs> I was like, oh I'm God, on here. Live on playtime. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Can you imagine? Actually, I came here to tell you're dick. Yeah, actually I came here for the truth. <laughs> oh, uh, but no, but I, I was really upset the last two weeks because I've been getting a lot of backlash, a lot of hate. Um, you know about this, I've been telling you. And yep. it's, it really- affected me and normally it doesn't like i've been on the show for five years i've I've always got hate but this one really kind of affected me and i watched the show and i didn't actually watch this series and i I said okay i must watch it because i'm getting all this all these comments about me and i watched and i was like wow that's really not how it went down well i think you got misrepresented yeah in in the situation on main chelsea you got bad at it yeah didn't not everything you said came out and I yeah they, they cut a lot of my words and i and i think i get it they i feel like maybe they wanted to favor ella a little bit more and you know it also certain things got taken out way out of context and also it was like you know for example the message with yaz like oh my god it was like one simple message between a friend and myself and it was like blown out of proportion um but to summarize everything if anyone knows basically Ella and I were talking for you know a very long time, four or five weeks. She was traveling at the time. She was in uh, in Italy. We had spoken. We said maybe you should come to London. Meanwhile, whilst this is going on, we were talking about Chelsea. She was on Married at First Sight. We had that kind of connection of like we're on reality TV shows. Um, would you be willing to come on the show as well? And she was like, yeah, let's do it. She's been talking to producers for ages. Just to butt in, that's where I've listened to this podcast that she did the other day. And yeah. she basically... Well, both the girls on there just basically say another story that there was no intention of her doing that. And yeah. it was you that brought her into it. And when she was actually having conversations with them, wasn't Oh my it? God, we, we, the first time we met was on camera. So how would I have done that without having the conversation before? She was fully aware, basically. Exactly. But she's playing off like she wasn't. Yeah, so we'll, get, we'll talk about that podcast in a sec because I do actually want to briefly talk about it. But uh, initially what was going on with Ella and I is unfortunately she was here for two weeks at the end of the first week, I realized I didn't have any feelings for her. And it sucked because I had to tell a girl that we've been talking for a very long time where I put her on this pedestal. Basically, mm. I was like, oh my God, this is like this girl I'm, I'm actually really into. Like she's she's different. I haven't met anyone like her. Like I'm really excited. And then she got here and everything I thought I was going to feel, which I wanted to feel, didn't happen. Mm. And I was just really upset. I was upset with myself. I was like, oh fuck, here we go. Another situation. Do you, were you like, do you think you love bombed her? I didn't. What, 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 does, what does love bombing mean? I don't mean? actually know what that, but you what, know when someone's like really intense, like paints the world, like not paints the world. Paints the world. Promises no, no, no. the world. Promises. Promise, yeah, like, yeah. promises the world. No, what? Creates what I, this big, like, I don't know. So I never did that, but what I did do, and I was honest, and like I've always been honest, is, you know, she was talking to me about how are you feeling with like your relationships and what you want in a relationship. And I said, you know what? Yeah, I kind of want to settle down. I kind of, I've, I, I have been single for a very long time and it is something that I'm thinking of and I want to be more serious. Does that mean that's with you? I don't know. And the biggest thing I said to her, I remember literally this was like a week, she was in Italy. It was like the last week of her being in Italy. We were on FaceTime and I, we was talking. I said, by the way, this might go horrifically wrong. Mm. I hope it doesn't. But I just need to let you know this might go wrong. And I just want to make sure that we respect each other. And if it does, we let each other know. And that's what I did. I told her off camera, 
that I wasn't feeling anymore. Mm. And I had a really honest conversation with her saying, I'm really sorry, this sucks. I hate the fact that I don't feel it, but I owe you that respect because fuck the cameras right now. Like yeah. I wanna be respectful to you. And I owed her that because she was coming into my world, right? And then, you know, she did understand that we had to film about it anyway, you know, we filmed about it. Um, and then this whole Yaz thing situation came up with a message, which was so stupid, a message. And look, I get it, I put my hands up. The timing was poor, it was stupid, but I didn't think of it like that. I know, but you should have just waited, I think, until yeah. Ella left, because it was, you know what world we're in, you know what people yeah. twist. And even though you didn't mean it like that, it came across like you did. And for Ella to hear that, it's not nice. Yeah. But I think what people do need to remember is that there is a lot that happens that can only be squeezed into one hour episode. So yeah. a lot of what we say and what actually happens gets cut down. Mm. And, you know, I do think that's so weird. Yaz just texted me. Um, <laughs> oh God, we're talking about her. But yeah, it's it's a weird one because I think a lot of people forget that a lot is cut out. Well, yeah, it has to be. Like, look at, look at a conversation we're having now. It's about an hour long. You can't put that in what mm. it would be. It'd literally be one scene, one app. So yeah, I get that. And then let's talk about the present time right now uh whilst this was happening um ella and i have been fine like we've been we were talking we we're in bali we didn't meet in bali because we just thought respectfully it's still too early but we were still talking making sure we were like checking up on each other i was getting a lot of hate she messaged me when i got back to london saying hey i saw all the hate you're getting i just want to say i'm really sorry for it like you don't deserve to get all that hate um by the way i'm filming a podcast about us and defending you and letting my audience know that you shouldn't be bullied or you know yeah, have yeah. this trolling and I was like, thanks. That's really That's nice. That's really lovely. Yeah. Like, what? Well, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting growing up of her as well. Oh my God, massively. So I was like, wow, this, I was like, oh God, you know what? You know, even though it, it didn't end or go the way it should have, we both wanted it to, it's really nice that we can be friends and we can have these conversations. However, when this was happening, I then messaged her two days ago and said, look, what would be great is that me and you, you know, I've got Ask Miles anything. Let's do a Zoom podcast where we like ask our audience the, ask questions to each other that we maybe haven't asked and it'll be really fun and mm. it will be like you know it's it's on topic right now and let's talk about it and then i listened to her podcast and i heard it last uh yesterday morning um and i messaged her straight away after and i said look i'm really really sorry but i listened to your podcast and unfortunately i don't really want to have this honest open walk chat with you because clearly with what you were saying how you spoke about me and the show um there's no point because the disrespect and how horrible and savage more dom her co-host were mm. was really just like i found it very immature i was like you yeah. know what i'd understand having a really open honest conversation but being so brutal and actually really horrible what were they saying they they basically at one point i wrote for it down Come on, get my notes out <laughs> he did he wrote he, he texted um, me because bro i've written so many notes <laughs> no so like, i bet he's got two notes she one point they basically compare miles to putin <laughs> which is like what the fuck even is that yes. and, and then there's yeah. there's a bit where it's it's like um when does it get to the point where you realize that as the person that that the comment online hurt you because they're actually true so basically she's saying she's condoning people trolling but then she's saying that like all the trolling is correct it's yeah just like come what, on what annoys a bit like it's slightly immature and slight slightly sort of like contradictory to, like, it's what, salty what, the message you're trying to convey it's, it's salty. like kind of like you're going back on what you what you just said at the yeah start. because in the beginning of the uh, their podcast they say we don't condone con um uh trolling behavior uh bullying online bullying all these things we don't condone things. it but what they're saying is correct yeah is what they're that's saying. what they did and what i didn't like you know what you as a best friend i get it you're there for your friend right but what i didn't like was you know ella didn't really say too much in a negative way but she was just laughing at dom's reactions and i thought as a best friend you should like be like look you're being a bit horrible now let's we're not here to be horrible we're also talking about not being you know trolling or online bullying but you're doing that right now and then there's a lot of things like you know being petty like oh they don't even get paid well you know i bet our ratings are way better than theirs like just slagging off the show they also actually one thing i didn't like is don't get me wrong, we all have problems with Chelsea sometimes. But the fact that you are given the ins and outs and the secrets of the show and kind of like outly saying, oh, this is what happens, this may be not true and all this kind of stuff. It's like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Like, you've come on a show, they've respected you. Like, let's not just like, you know, do all of that, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, 
And then, they, they, and then they, you know, they did an hour long on basically me. And they're talking about, oh, yeah, you're clout. I was a clout chaser. So I haven't spoken about it the whole time. And I'm getting all the hate. And the reason why I've come up on the podcast today to kind of discuss it a little bit is because, you know what? If I wanted to clout, I would have done it very differently. I would have not told you that I didn't like you. I would have strung you along. And I've waited yeah. you, for you to go back to Australia and then f- FaceTimed you and said, actually, I'm not into it. True. That's that's what a guy would have done if he was a fuck boy, as she kept on saying on the thing, and didn't want to treat you well. I did I did everything to be really respectful. I even I even did the opposite thing that the show wants us to do, which is say everything live on camera straight away. And I took her aside three days before we filmed about on camera and be like, I want to be honest with you off camera. The thing is, though, is that if the podcast is such a negative, negative thing about you and the situation, she can't hate you that much. And what you did can't be that bad because Ella is still willing to film things with you to do that lovely post that she did on her Instagram. I don't think I feel like that's maybe her friend being like the angry best friend, you know? Yeah, but it was you know what? And you've heard it. Mm -hmm. It was I haven't listened to it, so I actually can't. Yeah, but but like for me, it was it was just, you know, you can be a supportive best friend. But it was it was really it was quite horrible to listen to i was like whoa this is you're so aggressive was it quite bitter it's very, very bitter. bitter oh my god yeah, so yeah. bitter she was like saying things like you know what you're glad you didn't slide into my dms i was like oh whoa, whoa. what are you uh, like you know what though <laughs> I was like, well, I can you she wish slide into the dms of one of our mates yeah she did yeah. also she's doing she, all, she was while yeah. she was seeing someone else or she was doing all these oh you're fuck all this and i'm like you're you were dating a guy in italy and then you're sliding into temps's dms saying like oh bake me this cake and all this shit it's like so look what i i'm not here to like tick for tap but a little bit in the sense like i'm not here for tip for tap but this is my revenge no but also <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> but like no it it was just it felt bitter and it felt really like um i guess it's it, it's just like she's clout chasing rather than she's accusing you of clout chasing yeah like it's the complete opposite. i think best thing to do in this sort of scenario is just wish them both very well they live yeah. on the other side of the world what's yeah. done is done the podcast's out our podcast will be out now yeah and people can just make their own decision and yeah. also who cares yeah no to be fair like i completely agree and the only reason why i wanted to speak about it a little bit was more actually initially i didn't want to talk about dom or ella with their podcast i just wanted um a conversation about what actually went on when we were dating in london because i felt like i got misrepresented on the show and i wanted to kind of speak my truth and that's it and then i heard the podcast and i was like "Mm, okay that was not very nice um and that's it like look ella and i i spoke i said to her like i don't really want to do this you know ask miles anything because clearly i'm apparently i'm a clout chaser um and i want you know your fame which is not the case at all um but i felt like i needed to speak my truth with my audience yeah. Um, and, and also, I think, you know, two sides to every story, exactly. and you're absolutely allowed to do that. Mm. So, I'm glad you got that off your chest, Mars. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. It's Christmas now, so um, I've got to get a cop ring for my dad. So, <laughs> off you pop. Off you pop. What else? I think that's about it for today. Really. Do we do we have any questions? We did. We basically usually do a question box. I don't yeah, but we didn't do it this but, one. But I, um, we, we got one. I got one question. Right, fire okay. away. One more little question. What is something that no one knows about you and that they sh- <laughs> they kind of want to know? <laughs> the reason <laughs> why I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> Let's do that again. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think one thing that people don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, I've got a new one. Okay, basically the reason why we laugh is because we've filmed this already. Mm. Um, and Wait, do it again and we'll act I'll get a new one. Yeah, go on, act surprised. Oh my god. No way, you got ran over by a car. Oh, how did you know I was going to say that? Oh, fuck. fuck I won't do that one though because you've done it. But basically, the one that I did before was I have actually been hit by a car before. Um, We won't go into it. I'm like a cat. I've got nine lives. But (laughs) I'm alive. I'm here to tell tale. Is that your favourite line? I'm a no. cat. <laughs> you said it, you said it a few times now. Yeah, because yeah, you fucking didn't set up the cameras properly and we had to redo this whole thing. <laughs> I'm over time now. You, pay, you owe me more money. Where did you get that? I got nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope this cuts well. Um, another fun fact about me. I <clears throat> took my math GCSE five times and wow. I still didn't get it. You still didn't get what, it? So After the fifth you, time? No, okay, I... What's uh, 10 plus 8? 18. <laughs> <laughs> Quick maths. 
Okay. Uh, you, have you got not like another fact, like a fact, like something that's really interesting that no one knows? Oh, um, actually, this is quite. This might be quite interesting. Probably not. Because you know you keep saying boring facts, so we kind of want to. All get... right, fine. <laughs> I thought the the people would want to know how many times she took her maths to Sissy. Um, my dad actually used to be a footballer. No way. Yeah. F- <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm never coming back on your podcast ever again. No, no so who, come who, back. Who, who do you play for? I, I'm not much of a football fan. I was going to say, I don't watch football. But, um, what, play, play for the Reds, did he? <laughs> the Reds? No, actually, they were blue. To be fair... No, um, no, who did he play for? He played for a team called Wimbledon, nice, which nice. used to be like very big back in the day. Nice. Um, what position he was, was he? He was part of the crazy gang. The but crazy he was the gang. less crazy. Yeah, they, they used to get called the crazy gang. Um, Damn, they, they sound, sound pretty crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a mid- do that, No, I, I should do. Can I just say, I say this. Have you met her dad? He's really scary. I, I, <laughs> so I don't I really... Think I think I... Can I just say, I actually really well, respect but... your dad. He's a really, really nice guy. And I bet you he was part of that crazy gang. All right. That's my piece. You sound like you're a bit scared. I am a little bit scared. I met him once and <laughs> like, fucking hell. He's actually, he's a he's a softy. Um, but yeah, no, he was, loads of people don't actually know that, but... He was a professional footballer, but there your parent if you ask your parents who Dean Black was if they're into football, mm. they'd know. We wouldn't know it's not our generation, but your parents' generation. Love All that. Right. Okay. Well I think we'll Stand end on fun that. fact. That actually is very fun. Yeah. Yeah. But I can tell by the look on your face you guys love that fact. I was yeah. very amused by it. Do you know why it's it's a shame because you don't follow football. No. So mm. that's why I'm talking well, anyone, to, to uh, the worst people that don't watch football. To be fair, you know, anyone who's watching this now, it's the World Cup at the moment, they'll probably know. What's his name? Dean Blackwell. Are you joking me? You've <laughs> met him before. I'm joking, I'm joking. Hey, I'm just winding you up. Uh, anyway, thank you so much, Emily, for You're joining welcome. Playtime for the second time, although you guys didn't see the first time. Um, but hopefully we get you back and it won't be such, uh, you know, technical issues. Yeah, I think the next time we'll do it will be when we're skiing. We'll oh, do, yeah. We'll yeah do, we're we'll actually, we'll actually bringing the podcast. We'll do like a proper, like, little yeah. podcast. We'll, we'll be gonna, battered. Oh, so yeah. That'll be, be fun. Brilliant. A drunk podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, thanks for having me, boys. No, thank you. Lovely to have you on. Yeah. On the next episode as well, we are, I said this last time, yes. but we are going to do a relationship Q- Q&A. No, sorry. We're going to do dilemmas. Like date, Dating sorry, dilemmas. Sorry, not really. Dating dilemma Q&A. Yeah. Um, yeah, and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Playtime Podcast, and watch or listen to it on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, and check out TikTok. Just basically follow us because we're starting podcasts. And if you want more juice like this episode, then subscribe.